In today's episode, we'll be telling you about the nicknames Database and Teo, announcing the master of tank crafting and learning how to shoot videos. Hello everybody! Last weekend, many of you took part in the hunt for special full days gold boxes. Of course, most of you wanted to catch a gold box worth 50,000 crystals, but these boxes were very rare, so only 44 tankers got the lucky drop. One tanker even got it twice. Of course, we should mention last week's story about the five new supplies, which had you all up in hot debate. Yes, it was indeed an April Fool's joke. Look, our game designers even kept their fingers crossed during the shoot. So don't worry guys, these supplies are not gonna happen, you can start breathing again. And now a little about upcoming updates. In the near future, we plan on introducing a new feature in the nicknames database. As in other games, the number of users in Tanky Online has grown considerably over time. This has made it very difficult to create a cool nickname. To solve this problem, we're working on a new mechanism that will allow the recycling of unused nicknames. We will only be freeing up the nicknames of inactive accounts. An account becomes inactive if the player doesn't enter the game for a certain length of time. The period depends on the rank. For example, for Generalissimus it is around one year. But even when this period expires, the nickname isn't lost right away. First, someone needs to try to register a new account using that same nickname. At that point, one of two things can happen. If the requested nickname is not linked to an email address, it will be available to claim. If it is linked to an email address, the account owner is notified that someone else wants to take over the nickname while the applicant is informed that the nickname is currently unavailable. From that moment, the account owner has one week to reactivate the account by entering the game. If he doesn't, the nickname will become available for a new registration, but only after one more request is made. For accounts where the player has spent money on crystals, the active period is extended to three years from the date of the last payment, regardless of rank. And now important information for those who are afraid of losing their tanks. Your account is not going to disappear. If your inactive account loses its nickname, you can restore it using the email address you had linked to the account. If you do not have an email linked to it, you will be able to contact Tanky Online Technical Support and choose a new name. A number of things must happen for you to lose your nickname. You will not have entered the game in a long time and someone wants to use this nickname and you have missed a letter informing you that another player wants to use your nickname. So this scenario will only happen for really inactive accounts. The new system will allow tankers to pick any nickname they like without having to use additional symbols. What do you think about this update? Share your opinion in the comments below. The Craft a Tank contest is over. We were very surprised with the quality of the entries. Guys, seriously, you've taken crafting to a whole new level. A team of CMs from all of the communities reviewed over 2000 entries and it was really hard to decide on the top three. But we have our winners and here's what their creations look like. Our winners get fully micro-upgraded in-game versions of the turret and hull they created, as well as lots of crystals and supplies. Those of you who didn't make it to the top 3 but still did a good job will get a cool consolation prize, a fully micro-upgraded in-game version of either the turret or the hull they created, as well as crystals and supplies. Well done! Today's pro's advice is a bit unusual. Our expert is Sencha and he will teach you how to shoot good videos without using spectator mode. Watch and learn. Привет, с вами Сенча. Hello, I'm Sencha and today I'll be sharing with you a few tips on how to take cool screenshots and make awesome videos in Tanky Online without using spectator mode. Let's start with mouse controls. It's simple. Press the right mouse button to rotate the camera around your tank and get the perfect angle. Using this technique, you can play the Hollywood diva and take a selfie. Just set the camera, shoot and press the print screen key. Edit the image to get rid of the health bar and there you have it. Using mouse controls, you can also shoot a video while rotating the camera freely around the tank. Just keep in mind that mouse controls work better in Firefox or Internet Explorer. Let's go a step further. This technique is not used very often, but it can be very useful. When you self-destruct, you can shoot a video while flying to the respawn point. Now let's talk about the most versatile assistant. It's the so-called modeless spectator. You can activate it via the console. 
First, press and hold Shift, Control and K. Then type this command and change the value from 5 to 0. Close the console by once again pressing Shift, Control and K. Remember, 5 is the standard camera setting. 0 keeps your camera fixed in one location no matter where your tank goes. There are tons of ways to use it. You can set the value to 0, drive out of sight and then rotate your turret to shoot a beautiful panorama on the battlefield. Another option is to set the value to 0.5 and give your camera lag. This setting is great for shooting parkour tricks while remaining out of the picture. All you need to do is move in parallel with the parkourist, keeping your camera raised so that your tank isn't seen. And finally, the most important thing for producing a spectacular video is to finish it off with good editing. If you combine scenes that use different techniques and shooting angles, you can produce a video that is as good as those shot with an actual spectator mode. That's all from me, this was Sencha. Use these tricks to make your own videos for fun or even to improve your chances of winning video contests. Good luck! Video of the week. Today's topic is playing with Ricochet. Let's watch! Next week's theme for the video is open, you can do whatever you wish, but you must apply the tips and methods from Sensha's advice. Give it your best shot and don't forget that there's a prize of 50,000 crystals for the best entry. In the last episode we issued a challenge to all parkourists in the game. The challenge was to pile up as many tanks as possible on top of the skyscraper in Rio. And we actually have two winners. We have TFP from the international community and the Russian team who, in their video, claimed that they placed five tanks on top of the skyscraper. However, the fifth one only touched the roof. So let's congratulate our winners and give them their well-deserved prize. By the way, there's another challenge coming in the near future, so stay sharp and alert. That's it, guys. Hunt down the tanky X codes in this vlog and of course push the like button. See you next Friday.